Hey guys, Joe here with Manus 3D Printers, and today we're going to be talking about SolidWorks. So, we made a video about two years ago on how to download a commercial version of SolidWorks. That video has kind of blown up since, and there's a lot of interest in SolidWorks. We've done some videos uh, with Stevie on Fusion 360. My background is mostly in SolidWorks, and so that's why I'm going to take over some of the SolidWorks tutorials. Now, there's three types of SolidWorks. There is academic SolidWorks, commercial SolidWorks, and now there's maker SolidWorks versions. What does that mean? If you have, if you want the commercial version of SolidWorks, you're gonna have to pay around $4,000 for the hard copy to download on your computer, like we showed in our how to download and install SolidWorks video. If you want an academic license of SOLIDWORKS that you can also download onto your computer, you can uh, go to a school such as Penn State or another large engineering school that offers SOLIDWORKS downloads free for their students who are paying tuition, which that still comes with a hefty tuition price. Or you can uh, go with the maker version of SOLIDWORKS, which is actually fairly affordable and in reality, what a lot of folks use now uh, who use SOLIDWORKS for 3D printing endeavors. With that said, I'll show you guys how to download the maker version of SOLIDWORKS. And it's $48 a year, which personally I think is quite a steal. So I'm just going to type in SOLIDWORKS for makers. And now this is going to be a cloud-based SOLIDWORKS, but it, it works just as well. I'm going to choose the 48 USD a year. Obviously, you could pay 15 a month, but that's going to be, what is that per year? 15 times 12, that's a lot more expensive than $48. Okay, pretty straightforward. I think I have an account already. Alright, so after logging in, come to the checkout page. You'll see there's uh, quite a few different things you have access to through the Maker subscription. I'm particularly interested in a couple of these, the SOLIDWORKS Professional version, the 3D Sculptor, um, as well as the 3D Creator. Those are of interest to me. Go to check out. You'll see there's a little bit of tax. Nothing too crazy. So about 50 bucks a year. Now here's the important part to pay attention to. So since this is a maker version and not a commercial version or an educator version, you have to understand that I am a maker or a hobbyist and will not use this offer for commercial use. So what does that mean? You really shouldn't be using this maker version to, for example, start an engineering firm or start a design firm or anything of that nature. So if you'll accept that. Enter in your payment information and then you'll get your order confirmation. And then uh, we'll move to my email to uh, see what the next steps are. So once you complete your order and you get that order confirmation, you'll first receive an email. The first email is just confirming your order and then it has two little options here for makers or for students. Just click the for makers one and that'll bring you here to get started with 3D Experience Solidworks for makers. Well, before we dive into that, I'll also let you know that you do receive a second email. So that second email you'll get has this launcher 3D experience platform. So we're going to click that. And I'm navigating this for the first time with you guys, so bear with me. Just give me a tutorial on how to access stuff. Okay. Now we're most interested in SolidWorks over here. So let's click that. All right, so it's telling us to install this. This is a pretty good tutorial video giving you an overview of the 3 experience platform. How do I get out of it? Ah. There we go. 
If you have an ad blocker, that may not be the best thing to have on this page. Why isn't it? Let me. I'll come back when I figure that out. Nope. Oh, there we go. May take a second. Let's download that. Launch it. I have regular commercial SOLIDWORKS installed on my computer, so I don't want to screw that up. So I'm going to put this under SOLIDWORKS makers. Normally you wouldn't have to do any of that. Now it's installing. We'll jump ahead here once it's done. All right, finished installing. Assuming something's happening. My mouse is flickering. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and restart my computer after that installed and see if that makes a difference. All right, so once I restarted my computer, relaunched uh, Chrome. I don't think that had anything to do with it in actuality, but I got this alert which is like it tried to start uh, the 3D experience launcher on my computer down here. Where is it? There we go. And my computer prompted me with, me with this. Now you may run into it, you may not, uh, but this is what I ran into. 3D experience launcher, an application is contacting the 3D experience launcher, asking it to use the following URL as a trusted third party. Seeing that this URL is the same URL, that's showing uh, in my browser for the most part. I'm gonna select always trust. See if that makes a difference. Don't know why this is saying install. That was strange. Something's happening. Seems like this download process might be a little clunky, but it seems like it's working. I guess be sure to check that your computer will work with the cloud environment. I actually just did some digging. Turns out that this default file path shouldn't interfere with my existing commercial license. It's all work, so. We'll stick with that. All right, I'm English, or I speak English rather, so selecting English. I'm fine with that file path. Requires 16.38 gigabytes. We're gonna install that. We'll be back once the installation is complete. All right, so part of the installation appears to have succeeded. Let's just click OK. Just got another alert. Click OK. I think it wants me to reboot, maybe. Scratch that. Don't try and reboot your computer because you'll exit the application while just trying to still upload. Just Click OK on the things that pop up or may pop up that say you need to reboot. Don't reboot, just click OK and let it keep downloading and installing the program. Could take quite a while. Just got another alert. It says the SOLIDWORKS installation requires a restart. After the installer has finished, restart your computer to complete the installation. So again, don't restart, just click OK and let it continue installing. Not sure why they would have that pop up in the middle of the installation process and not at the very end, but we'll get through it. All right, so it looks like we're at the next stage of the installation process. I'm gonna click this uh, finish panel next button. Nothing seems to be happening. Well, I will take this opportunity then to reboot. All right, so rebooted my computer 
And once we're booted, I'm gonna go into the 3D Experience Launcher, open that up. That's gonna bring me to that uh, URL we gave permission to before, which is to your particular 3D Experience account. And now you'll notice that the SolidWorks Connected says open. So let's open that up. Appears like something is happening. Well, look at that. So this is the standard SolidWorks startup screen I usually get on my commercial version of SolidWorks. So that's promising. All right, well, look at that. It looks like we have a Windows firewall. This is from Dassault System, so I'll allow access. All right, but yeah, so we'll be doing a bunch of videos coming up here on SolidWorks. We'll try and get one out every day, or maybe more than one out every day. So stay tuned, subscribe, like. I'll also put a link to this video in the 2022 SolidWorks commercial download. That way people can find it and access it. But yeah, for 50 bucks, then some change for a whole year, you can't beat that. I know this is a newer uh, product from SolidWorks for Makers. Fusion definitely led the way on uh, the hobbyist uh, CAD side of things, but SolidWorks, I've always preferred SolidWorks over uh, Autodesk products, and I, I think they're doing a great thing here offering it for 50 bucks a year. I actually missed, I, I'm kicking myself because in February I saw an ad for it on my Instagram for 38 bucks. It was a slight discount, like 10 bucks off or something like that. Um, kind of kicking myself that I'm doing it in March, but hey, you know, I'm not complaining. 50 bucks a year, that's excellent. But yeah, so stay tuned. We'll be doing some future videos here. And thanks for watching. Take it easy, guys.